tonight. Wayne Gretzky open scoring at 304. Al McKinnis with the first of two, 616, 925. Team Canada out again to a quick 3 0 lead. And then Theo Fleury, another Calgary Flame with his first goal of the Canada Cup. Then Kastak scoring for the Czechs. The score after 1 4 1. Team Canada out shooting the Czechs 16 to 9 in that wild first period. CTV's coverage of the 1991 Lebec Canada Cup is being brought to you in part by Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire is a proud sponsor of Canada Cup. There's a lot more to Canadian Tire than tires. The teams are on the ice. We're ready for the second period. Let's go to JD and Chevy. All right, Rod, thank you. I have nothing to base this on. It's a hunch, but let us speculate. If Mike Keenan's calling a news conference tomorrow, it undoubtedly, for a good part, will deal with Eric Lindros. And could it be that he will announce that he's going to keep him out of the game in right. Quebec City on Monday night and take that enormous pressure off the shoulders of an 18-year-old? It's certainly a possibility, Don. I mean, it, it's gone absolutely mad regarding the Lindros situation. A lot of sports writers, one in particular, uh, Rajon Tremblay, who was a noted sports writer here in, in the province of Quebec. They they tended to take the story and make it. They're trying to make it into a political issue regarding the uh, the people shunning the the province of Quebec, and that certainly isn't right in my books. I uh, I don't take that stand whatsoever. One newspaper here has hired a psychologist to get into the into the print to re and check out the situation. He's pointing the finger at Lindros's mother, saying that she's the problem. Uh, it's gone mad. Yeah, it's really crazy. Has. Maybe Keaton might just do that. It might be wise. Yeah. Here's copy now from the faceoff. Team Canada with a 4-1 lead, carrying it into the second period in the Montreal Forum. And certainly young Lindros has heard enough booze here to last him a good long while, let alone going to Quebec. Copy in the corner with a falling Czechoslovakian Jaeger against him. Gretzky now swings it away at center ice. Two on one. Larmer's on his right. Gretzky will shoot it. Hits the hits in. Gretzky scores five to one. It came out as fast as it went in. Didn't take long. Wayne Gretzky was tripped up late in the first period. And little things like that make his motor run just a little bit quicker. The defenseman, good eyes, got caught at the blue line with a bouncing puck. It's a two on one. Musil made him shoot it. And Gretzky, when he gets time to shoot done, from that position will always go high to the catching glove side. There's the shot. It beats Hashik. It's 5 1. And Wayne Gretzky. It has been very involved in this game that gives him three points so far. His third goal of the Canada Cup, his second of the night. Team Canada roughs five to one. Gretzky has been the pivotal figure as you might expect in every game so far for the Canadians. The tie with Finland to open the tournament for Canada, he was held pointless. Maybe that's why the tie was a tie. Every game since, Canada has rolled, and he's been the main figure. Slides down to the Czechoslovakian corner again. Hasek will sweep it in behind. Late offside, the Czechs leisurely can bring it on now to the center ice area. This is Jelinek being taken down. Tocket is checked. Zelika. Bakcha trying to help out in behind. Now they dig it ahead for Tockett. His pass is intercepted. Quick response by the Czechs into the Team Canada zone. Desjardins. Zemlik is taken down, and there's going to be a penalty there to Eric Desjardins of the Montreal Canadiens. This is the Labatt Canada Cup on CTV. Eric Desjardins gets the two-minute hooking minor. You'll see Desjardins on the near side, or pardon me, right about the middle, reach out with a stick to hold up the Czechoslovakian player. And just prior to that play, Jelinek is hooked up a little bit. Actually, the Czech player there jumped off the ice surface to avoid a check. And I'm not so sure it should have been a penalty either. The referee didn't. Well, he got Desjardins for hooking, so Czechoslovakia tonight for the first time scoring on a power play in the entire tournament. I have the manpower advantage here. Almost two minutes into the second period, trailing five to one. So the Team Canada team that ignited early and kicked into high gear here in the Montreal Forum. This is Yuri Slager. 
Pass on the left side. Palfi shoots it in. Bradford can't round it up. In Canada will clear the zone. Off the boards, past Messier to kill off some time. Schlager collects it. Here he's Schlager losing it to center ice to Gretzky. Gretzky now Schlager defending. Gretzky as Schlager fell, comes back with a puck. Now will make his move, flipping it in front. Rebound for Messier. They bang away, side of the goal. Hashek is down and somehow it stays up. He puts the glove on it. Wayne Gretzky brings them to their feet here again. This time he kills a penalty. Canada has three shorthanded goals in the tournament. Gretzky's been on the ice for all three. Now when Gretzky moves into the offensive zone, you'll see him move across, and then when he moves in, we'll roll it. Watch Slager move across. Now Slager here with the fake shot stops and gets lost. Now if we take it ahead and hold it here, you'll see this man thinking Gretzky's going to move up ice. He won't move up ice. He'll come back the other way with one quick move. We roll it. He opens the ice up. Now everybody goes at Gretzky. Look at the man in front, Messier, is waiting for a rebound. The shot's taken, save made. Gretzky attracts people, and then he finds the people that aren't, that are wide open. Seeger with Kron and Kolnick on the power play. Czechoslovakia, even with the power play, coming up on three minutes now, does not have a shot on goal this period. Here's a shot, though, that finds Ranford right on. He holds them at bay. The rebound dancing in front of the Canadian goal, and they clear McKenna shooting it down the ice. Hashik ahead to Kron. Now Seeger intercepted by Corto. We have Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck going in, setting, can't get a shot away. He was taken down by Musil just as he was firing the trigger. Seeger. Checks tied up in their own zone when they should be attacking. Just a second left now. Desjardins will step out of the penalty box. Canada's at full strength. He's back on the ice, and they do call icing on that. About four minutes gone in period two, but Canada romping 5 1. This is the Levant. Canada Cup and Dollars while quantities last. Canadian Tire, your hockey headquarters. Tonight, hockey headquarters in Canada, the Montreal Forum, while in the United States, the Chicago Stadium has seen the United States take a 1 0 lead over the Soviet Union. Earlier, Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto, Finland surprised Sweden 3 1. Here, Canada dominates Czechoslovakia 5 1. Four minutes gone now in period two. Asia Ardan swings it away to Lindros. The Blue Birds come out to roost again as it slides beside the goal, and Hasek goes down with Lindros hovering. Every player for Czechoslovakia that has moved in to try and hit Lindros, they bumped him, but Lindros, during the second half of the actual hit, outmuscles the opposition player. It's amazing to watch. He is so strong at such a young age. This is Lindros moving across at the goaltender, and the stick bumps the netminder, and that's why Basha went over, gave Lindros a little push. More than a little push to knock uh, Big 88 off his feet. He said the other night, the astonishing thing to remember is he's only 18. He's probably got some growing left at 6'5", 228. More to come. Number 18 from Czechoslovakia, Jurgis Bacha. Hounded by Robotai. Swings it over to Richard Smalik. Getting it out to Kastik, who is the only goal for Czechoslovakia. Malik off the boards, losing it there. Lindros inside, trying to set up Shanahan, but they call that on the offside. 15.35 to go in the second period. One thing about getting hockey players involved with this tournament, the coaches love it if you can play more than one position. And Shanahan has played left and right wing, and he can play center ice if needed be. Plus, he can play the point on the power play. And when they get all those ingredient, ingredients, the one player, the coaches will take that and lean towards a player like that when it comes to a tournament when you have a roster that you have to freeze once you hit the 23 player limit. Drop of the puck, Sutter, good face off man, wins it for Team Canada. Driven by Murphy, hard off the glass back of Hashek. Favonka. 
three on three as Graham gets back very quickly with the two defense players for Canada Stevens and Murphy. Hashek comes out and will sweep it away on the far side to Slager. Shot in delayed offside here. Krakar with it. Rick White pass coming out for number 25 Yelinik. Long shot is off the mark in the Canadian zone. Just over five minutes gone here in the period. Five to one, Team Canada leads. Robotide dropping it off for Stevens. Stevens, nice little move there, and it's shot up over the glass. From the Forum in Montreal, this is the Labatt Canada Cup on CTV. Messier getting ready for the face off on the Team Canada zone, but Robotai made a nice little move here. See how he drew the player towards him and dumped it back off to Stevens. Stevens was setting up a play but lost the puck. Canadian players will do that a lot. Draw people towards them and then dump the puck off. And we've seen Gretzky do it all tournament long. He's by far the best at doing it. SEA with Robitaille and Fleury. Chinsky for Czechoslovakia being hounded by McInnes. Fleury watching his man, Josef Baranek, in front of the net. Well, McInnes. Open wing. Hasek playing it around on the near boards. Kept in by the Canadians. Here's the dangerous McInnes. He'll shoot it off to the far corner. Silver Messier stick picked up by Ruchinski. Baranek. He is taken down at the blue line. Now comes after McInnes. Ranford contains that on the short side. 19-10, the shots advantage for Canada, but the territorial play advantage much more dominating than that. They lead 5-1. Robitaille will push it ahead. Canada looking for a chance to change some players now. Messier replaced by Gretzky. They get a whistle now. 13.38 to go in period two. 5-1 for Canada on the Levant Canada Cup on CTV. Honor Gretzky, Wayne's dad wouldn't miss this for the world. There he is in row one right behind the Team Canada bench enjoying what he sees tonight. Little pull to get those seats, huh? <laughs> Came down from Toronto or over from Toronto to Montreal by train. There's a lot of people thinking about taking the train these days out of Toronto. A few delays, I'm told. Yeah. Come on. They came in the back door through Buffalo. <laughs> Czechoslovakia in a big hole and unable to climb out of it, it would appear, as number 28 can't take the lead past Kolnick. Manfred dumping it around here. Kolnick comes in to take charge with Seeger. Plays it back on the point. Here is the shot. That's deflected. It came from Smilik. Smith now. Big Smith on the near boards trying to get it up as far as Gretzky at the blue line. It's driven back by Czechoslovakia. Seven minutes have gone by in the second period. Five to one. Team Canada dominates this game against Czechoslovakia. Long lead pass for Gretzky. Two defenders are there. He is taken down. Smith will carry on. In the corner, Smelik with it. Desjardins being Counted by number 22, Kron. That was an example of a good first pass out of Canada's zone to Gretzky by Desjardins. It was another good first pass. Corkler back to Gretzky. Shooting! Off the glove of Hasek comes around in behind. He got a piece of it over back of the net and around and with. They center it and down he goes to save it. Pretty obvious here in this game the Czechs want Gretzky to shoot. Every time Gretzky's had a little time in the offensive zone, he looks around. And the last available resort for Gretzky is to shoot it. He loves to pass the puck. That hasn't happened so much here. He's, he's getting the chances to do things. But the Czechs, you can tell by their, their, their game plan here, they want him to shoot the puck. And of course, he has a couple in this one. Yeah, the playmakers become the great scorer tonight. That was the Steve Smith Courtnell pass, which sets up this shot by Gretzky. Gretzky, too, I think Don is driving on the fact that he's shooting the puck tonight and enjoying uh, maybe getting the goals himself. Ranford behind the net. Yager watching him. Hops in among the spectators. There'll be a face off of the Team Canada zone. When you can't shut him down, it's one or the other. You let him shoot, you let him pass, but usually he's going to hurt you either way. He'll find a way. Yuri Slager, as you see. 
draft choice. Not overly tall, but fairly strong. His father, Yuri Bubla, had problems with the law. I understand has been released and is supposed to be back in Vancouver. After Finland and Sweden, the Czechoslovakian players were the next bunch to come to the National Hockey League, and they're well represented by NHL teams here tonight. Lindros down the boards now, being ridden off into the lumber, and they can't center it. Number 15 picks it up. Jager, he can't make the play out of there. Lindros adding it off the boards here in front, waiting for it as Howard Popo couldn't get it to him. Howard goes in behind himself now to try to take it from Slager. Nobody in front right now for Team Canada. We'll try to get it to Murphy, and Portland could not do that. It's getting pretty sloppy out there with both clubs. The thing that's important, though, is the fact that Canada, even though they're not getting many scoring chances now, not giving up many. Big Lindros, a punishing check on the Czechoslovakian player, number 24, Slager, in behind the play, and the crowd actually cheered him on that. Seems to get one or two a game. The big, crunching, pasting, squashing body checks. Tocket spun around, fighting for control at center ice. You're right, the puck's bouncing, and the play a little sloppier now, certainly in the second period. Czechoslovakia now. Here's a penalty coming up as Yelinik is taken down. Team Canada would be a man short, and the Czech power play. As Coffee gets the gate, we'll go on the ice. This is the Labatt Canada Cup on CTV. A slashing penalty in 901 to defenseman Paul Coffey of Canada. Yelinek here driving to the net. More of a hook than anything else. Yes. Boy, the legs went up pretty good. Here's that hit by Lindros. The power that he has. He, the leg drive into the opposition player near the boards is really something. I mean, he, he pushed with his arms, yes, but it was the leg drive into the body of the other player that knocked him off balance. I keen it over his shoulder with words for him at the Team Canada bench. Ready for the face-off. Pabaka was in Licka and Yelinik on the ice now. They get it back to Muso on the left point. McInnes, depending for Canada, clears the zone. Al McInnes with a brilliant Canada Cup series so far. An outstanding first period. When he scored two goals, he had seven shots. This Canadian defenseman in period one. Remarkable. And, and watch his play defensively, guys. He's become more than just the man with the big shot and the, and the point getter. He's strong in his own zone. Smith behind the net. Against Pivonka. Yusuf waits the pass. It comes through Zelika over in the corner. Kennis again will golf it, and he will clear the zone for Canada. Sutter for checking. Checks backing up here. Canada makes some changes as they do. An errant pass will come down beside Ranford. Icing on a power play is called against Czechoslovakia. And we'll remind you that Labatt's Blue player of the game for Team Canada will receive the Canon Futura. Call the future photography in your hands. The sophisticated new approach in camera design combines a full range of auto operation features that ensure everyone will enjoy using the Futura.